Let's take a look what you see when you first start Woody Plants of the Southeastern United States, a field botany course on CD. When the program first starts, you initially see this small box on the screen, which gives you two options. Clicking on either option will open another window. The first one opens a PDF viewer, if you have Adobe Acrobat Reader, that will probably open. And this gives you a small introduction to the Image Quiz family of programs. You also have the option of taking the tutorial on woody plants of the southeastern United States. We highly recommend that you do this as it will give you a good introduction to the program. If you don't want to see this menu anymore when you first start the program, just unclick the Show This Menu on Startup button and then close the window and it won't appear anymore. You can get back to it, that is, you can make it appear every time the program starts under the Help menu by selecting Opening Screen, the window pops up again, and it is checked. The checks box is checked. So it will appear every time you start the program. Let's uncheck it now and go on to see what's under the menus. Well, first of all, you look at the main screen, and you see that there are four buttons here, Taxa Selection, Study Plants, Take a Quiz, and Take a Test. Mousing over these buttons highlights them. If I were to click on them, we would select that part of the program. These same options that are available by clicking on the four buttons are available under the Run menu. The Taxa Selection, Study, Quiz, and Test options. You also notice that there are shortcuts associated with each button. We really recommend that you start using the keyboard for almost all of your operations in Woody Plants of the Southeastern U.S because there are parts of the program that are going to operate much better from the keyboard, much easier from the keyboard, than they will if you use the mouse. So that's our Run menu and our first four buttons on the main screen. Under the File menu, we have only one button, and that's the View Progress button. This is a way that you can see how you've been doing in the program. If we click on the View Progress button, uh, box opens and shows us how we've done on the last quizzes that we've been taking. We'll come back to that in another video. The Options menu has two choices with it. They are both more advanced options. This is Random Taxon Selection and Advanced Options. As I say, both are advanced. Random Taxon Selection. This is something that's really used by experts. This is not where you want to start with the program. You can select here a taxonomic level, family, genus, or species, and then tell the program how many different taxa you want it to select randomly, up to 10. So if we select 10 taxa there, and we were to say continue, the program would select 10 random taxa out of its database, and then we could go either back to the main screen, we could study the images, we could take a test, etc. We really have to select a taxonomic level here, and when we do that, at the species level, we can also select by common name. However, this is an advanced option. We won't do any more with it right now. We also have advanced options here. And advanced options, there is something you might want to use. You can set the spelling sensitivity, so you don't have to type names completely correctly. You can select the number of images that you want to see. So in case you want to take shorter quizzes than the program would normally allow you, you can do that here. You can also use change a fixation display. And we'll return to this in a very much later video because it's a very advanced option. We can also here set the program to automatically show us our progress after every test and quiz. This is the same thing that we would get as selecting view progress from the file menu. It's just going to do it for us automatically. The help menu has got a lot of choices in it and we'll explore what's there under the next or at least another video.